everybody. Welcome back to another fun edition of Live from Lavender Town. Live from Lavender Town. That one too. Live from Lavender <laughs> Town. <laughs> um, so we're still wanting to get more copies of Rush's art. So we have another 100 packs of Unbroken Bonds to open. We also have a couple little trinkets to open beforehand as like a warm up for chess, Burning Shadows, Celestial Storm. I did the first two tiers of the ladder and kind of some of this is from that. Um, it uh, it was a lot of fun. I played my Rayquaza deck and my uh, Picaram deck a lot, but I do want to get a Reshiram deck, and I want to do it now before the uh, I'm broke before um, Unified Minds comes out. Because man, I'm gonna be all over that. Because Mewtwo. Anyway, let's get started here, and we'll just open up some little chests. So the name of the game, man, in this video is to at least get one uh, Charizard, Reshiram and Charizard. If I didn't have enough copies of Max Potion already, it would be handy, but I do. All these are like, well, this is Guardians Rising, actually. I didn't even recognize that. Never ever ran Glyce Ward, so. Oh, another one to flip over, see what it is. Yeah, it's a, it's the OA Lord. Two hundred. It does two hundred, but forty less for each damage counter on the Pokemon. So once it takes fifty damage, it doesn't do any at all, which is really mall. But that that was a stalling Pokemon, way back. So that was what it existed for. So we got a, a lock Burning Shadows. That's why I'm not trading it. And we'll open that. Let's see what we get. A cutie fly. Yeah, there's that cutie fly that I ran with my uh, Doug Trio, Alolan Doug Trio deck, and oh, oh Butterfree it's a from the Butterfree. Yeah, with the Bye Bye Heal. Oh. Poor Ash. And then we got a locked Celestial Storm. <sighs> Much needed coffee, Apricorn Maker. Love that the art on that card, even if that card isn't super useful. Oh, and that pretty hollow Steelix. Okay, um, nothing too special in all of that. Not that you expect it, and frankly, we've gotten really lucky sometimes on those initial ones. But we're gonna open up a hundred of these. The first two are trade locked, of course, but that's okay. We're we're actually gonna use stuff that we get from here. Hopefully, hopefully. I saw somebody rocking this Doug, uh, Doug trio. Uh, and expanded. It was really handy. They were using it in their hit and run deck with Hitmonchan and um, I can't remember. It was a pseudo Udo. Oh, nice. Martial Arts Dojo. Handy as heck. And there's that Gathering of Cats Persian that we have a billion of. And now we're into the unlocked packs. All this could be traded in theory. Yeah. And Tangrowth. So, a lot has happened since the last video that we made in the Pokeverse. Um, I think Mew and Mewtwo was known, but we didn't have the card, and now we have it now. I believe that happened since. Um, and that card is going to be insane. It's going to change the whole format forever. Um, forever? Well, you know... It's gonna change it if, if uh, man, my God, what really suck is if when Sword and Shield comes out next year, if their GXs and tag team GXs go away, and so then because Mewtwo and Mew copies the attacks of all um, GX Pokemon, it, it no longer has anything to copy. That Blacephalon can be teched into to certain decks, including Blacephalon GX. So that's a cool card. Um, so I hope that they, I honestly actually hope they keep GXs going forward. I know it's kind of been tradition since X and Y that they do a new type of beastly sort of Pokemon gimmick. And, uh, of course then it was EXs, like proper EXs, not like the EXs even from before. But it, granted EXs had been around since what, black and white? Or was it even a heart gold soul silver too? It was like kind of that generation though. Gen 5. Yo! 
This is my second gold electromagnetic radar. Oh my god. I now have two. Can I have, have one? I have two of them. Yeah, you can have one. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That is amazing. But that's awesome. That is amazing. All right. You just have all the luck with the gold cards. I know. I pulled them in spades. I really do. Um, yeah. Oh, nice. Ooh. Fuller Honchkrow GX. Very sweet. I really actually like the, the art style on there. It's very pretty. Like it looks like it would be textured in physical. Oh yeah, yeah. Full arts have an awesome texture to them. I've I've always really liked full arts. I prefer them to rainbows. Sometimes I I even think more lately, especially I've felt that um, the standard art is the best. You know. Um, Tana. Oh man, I thought I was gonna get something King. there. Kingler. That Ash famously dominated with in the first. Season of the, the League Indigo Plateau. Ah, nope, nothing good there. And uh, and yeah, also, kind of the the big huge news. And again, I can't understate how excited I am for for Mewtwo and Mew. I love Mewtwo and Mew. The their tag team card is is so awesome too. Just like adds to my hype for that. That's like I'm so unbelievably hyped for that set to come out. Um, but the biggest news in the Pokeverse is um, that some events have already come and gone in regard to Sword and Shield, and less than desirable news has happened. Um, of course, as everyone knows, the National Dex is going away, and it sounds like that's going to be a permanent position moving forward for the Pokemon company, which is weird and sort of flies in the face of the fact that, oh, there's that Volcanian, people have been running that with their Reshizards. It flies in the face of um, their kind of statements that they've had um, about, uh, you know, rolling out the new um, Pokemon Home and wanting to have this unified system for everybody's Pokemon collection, but nobody can take their Pokemon out of it. So you would think that they would keep supporting games that those Pokemon could be in. There are some Pokemon that may not be available in games for several generations, you know? Um, and that's just a bummer. I, I'm not happy about that. Really, really not. Um, and it's it's not... I'm, I'm not one of the people that's been collecting and moving my Pokemon from game to game. I actually just started playing through some of the main series games because traditionally I had just always re boot up. I originally played Red, but usually my go-to would be to get an, get an emulator downloaded, boot up a copy of Fire Red, and just play through it. Um, you know, that was my, my go-to. But then I started playing some of the other games, played Gold and Silver, which is really great. Yo! Alternate art, Marshadow and Matchout. That's super pretty. It's really gorgeous artwork. I wish I wish it was a more playable card, but I think some cards coming, not in this next upcoming set, but the one afterward, are going to really help make this into a very playable card. So, Good job, baby. Thank you. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just... I feel like... Um, I, I've started to play through these games and to enjoy them more. I didn't have a collection personally, but it feels like not as not enough effort goes into the mainline Pokemon games, and we kind of overlook a lot of that because it's fun to have the new Pokemon and carry your old friends over while meeting the new ones and just kind of enjoy the oh yes, Pheromosa and Buzzwool, yes, Whoa. oh that's awesome. That's so cool. That is such a great card, too. I can make make a little fun deck out of that. It's tough out here for Leaf Pokemon because of Reshi's art doing what it's doing to the format. It eats those cards alive. But, man, when you don't go up against Reshi's art, you can do some work. Especially a number of fighting Pokemon that are weak to Leaf. So that's, that's the good thing. But, yeah, I, uh... Um... I just feel like it's made me 
But by saying that, they wanted to save the, the energy that they would put toward that in order to put more energy to developing the game, the models that are in the game, to have the best animations. Then you start to really examine the models. And you start to notice that not a ton of effort is put into them compared to other franchises. Not as many improvements have happened to the Pokéverse. And I think that I feel the same way as many people. Like, I'm still going to play Sword and Shield. I'm going to try to get a used copy because I don't really want to keep giving money to Game Freak at this point. I, I'm not mad or bitter. I just think, man, Pokémon is such an awesome property. But it's just historically been awesome because of the energy that... Yo! Yo! Gold Metal Corporate! Two gold cards! Two gold cards! Good lord! Um, Metal Core Barrier, uh, if this card is attached to one of your Pokemon, discard it at the end of your opponent's turn. It's a one turn card tool, but the steel Pokemon this card is attached to takes 70 less damage from your opponent's attacks during the next turn. It's... with, with Field Blower going away, this will see some, some play in Steel Decks, even if it is a one turn card. Triple Acceleration Energy is one turn. That is awesome. That is phenomenal. Oh my god. Um, Great job. Thank you. Yeah. It's awesome pulls here. No, it's um. It's been for so long that we've brought the Pokemon community has been the ones putting in. Wow, and a Rainbow <laughs> Rare Venomoth GX. Oh my god, we've had so many hits. This opening, I can't believe it. This is the one that that syncs up with Koga's Trap. Yeah. Oh. So you'd play that supporter. We're only a quarter of the way through these, and we've already pulled all of this. Still need to get a... a man, I really would love to get Reshi's Art. It's a tough tune to try to get, but... You know, I, I just really want it. And uh, I love opening packs, so... Um, three in a row! Yes, I want a Gardevoir and Sylveon the, too. I want to make that deck. The McTriple? Yes, the the triple cheeseburger. The that's, triple cheeseburger. That's I can't believe it. we all we got the gold metal core barrier, then we got the rainbow rare Venomoth GX, and now this card, which I'm definitely gonna make a deck out of because I have two copies of this, I believe already. Gardevoir and Sylveon tag team GX. Oh, I love it. I love pulling tag teams so much. It's so great. Oh, it's a great card. But we, trying to like finish a point here. <laughs> Stop giving me pulls. Give me a dud here. Uh, we've been the ones bringing that effort and energy to the Pokemon universe. It isn't like Zelda where they roll. <laughs> thank God, they roll out another game, and um, and it's just full of so much high quality that you wouldn't even be able to believe. Everything that you see in a Pokemon trailer for a game is like, yeah, that's that's about you know what they've been doing. You know, none of it's really mind blowing. You know, I, I think the first trailer was very cinematic, the way they were moving around the landscape and the MMO -y feel. I think we kind of got hyped for that. Um, but I think that since then, when you've seen some of the the animations and the, the artwork in game, it's like, man, this could be better. That, I love the art on that Victory Bell. Probably the best Victory Bell art ever. It's just so cool. Um, it's just, it's time that a different studio take over. It really is. Um, because those games are not living up to the the other tentpole franchises for Nintendo. They just aren't. And I think this is going to be the first one that doesn't see the jump in sales that other titles have in the Pokemon series. I think we've looked over some of the flaws, and I think it's gotten to a point where it won't be the case anymore. That Dugong, people run that just as a counter for Reshizard for Dual Blizzard. Um, yeah, but people people definitely do run this, this Dugong here for sure. <sighs> okay. In other news, we went to GoFest. Yeah, ago. it was amazing. That Full Art Persian GX is awesome. That's uh, just cool. It's got some good draw ability, but only if you've been knocked out. So it's like, at best, you're going to be able to use that twice in a match. Um, unless you've managed to add a prize card on your opponent's deck using a type of teched in 
I can't remember. What was the Pokemon that added a prize card to your opponent? Was it Guzz? I don't think it was Guzzlord. One of those. One of the po one of the GXs from Crimson Invasion did. Anyway, you're you're not gonna be able to like, make so so much use of that draw power, but it is cool nonetheless. Yeah, Goldfest though. Yes, YouTube love YouTube. Goldfest was incredible. It made up for so much that went wrong in the first year. I just I'm so happy with it. That's another yeah. <laughs> part of the Pokemon universe that hasn't quite lived up to what it could be. There's a lot of polish on some aspects of Pokemon Go, and a lot that's left to be desired, and I think finally, slowly but surely, newer and better features have been rolled out into those games that have really helped move things along and make it better. Um, man, still, still holding my breath waiting for that Reshiram and Charizard, man. Just one more copy during this opening would be just awesome. Would get us one step closer to, to that deck. Triple acceleration energy, there we go. And, um, ah, oh, there's that wheezing people are running too to do poison damage. It's pretty sweet. So, yeah, um, Golfest was incredible. They had all these regions, you know, so they, and they were all themed really well. They had, like, the spooky woods, and there was all kinds of spooky accoutrements in the. Yo, it's a full art trainer. I'll never run Mulane because it's a it's the worst trainer and supporter in the set. But it's still awesome to get a full art. I love full art trainers, as Joanna knows. I love collecting them. Even in game, I love collecting them and looking at them in game because they're just so cool. They're so cool. And if you had told me a year ago, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I cheated. I'm not gonna get a good pull this time. I've I've invalidated the lock. Here we go. Here's the the crappiness. Yup. Told ya. Can't do it that way. Um, I, I, I just there's nothing about my personality that should have that love for full art supporters, but I really do. They're just so cool. Yo, Lucario Melmetal GX. I don't know if we even had any of that. Maybe I had a copy, but a full art no less. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. That is so so cool. More tag teams. That's just man. I the hits just keep on coming here, don't they? But yeah, they have the spooky woods. So there was like fake cobwebs and spooky music. set pieces and Lavender Town music, among other things, was playing dungeon music. Then they had different areas that were in the same vein. They had the 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 frozen mountain. They had um, the bubble machine. Nice Venomoth GX. Won't really run it, but yep, they had a in a, in a, a bubble machine. In the, that was in the fairy woods, actually. I think the bubble machine. Oh, the bubble machine made the ice stuff yeah. in the yeah. It was like it made it was so much suds that it looked like fake snow. So it was pretty cool. Um, another Mewtwo. Yeah, uh, they had the 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 we the the area was so much larger, so we were on the fountain. We had the the big fountain as the water area. That was super awesome. Uh, and they had like the desert. <gasps> Another D Denny GX! Yo! That card has value. My god. That is awesome. In standard, that card will be crucial in decks. So, that is awesome. Uh, but yeah, the different areas were amazing. The event itself was just incredible. Everything worked. <laughs> yeah, everything worked. We never had any issues keep it, getting or maintaining reception. It's just really awesome. I can't wait to go another time. Got to meet people from chance. all over the world. Yeah. Another, another Venomoth. Those are honestly, some of them are just going to be traded, I'm sure. You know what one I got a lot of, too, in a previous set was um, uh, back in Celestial Storm, was it? Stack Attacka. I kept getting Stack Attacka GX. I don't know why. It's a good card, but uh, but yeah, no, it, yeah, it was just it was phenomenal. It's just no other way to put it. Can't wait till next year. Yeah, if we get another chance, like, oh my yeah. God, are you kidding? Did I just do that two packs in a row? Yeah. Okay, Venomoth GX, tone it down. I've pulled four copies of you. One of them a Rainbow Rare. It, it's enough. It's enough now in this one video. It's, 
It's just insane how many things I pulled in this video. It's just incredible. But you, you know we're here for one thing, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's not that. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It is. He the just, little torchic on top. Yeah, and the Pikachu is looking at him. Oh, Cute. We're almost halfway through. And we've had more than our fair share of Ultra Rares. We've had... Must be around 12. You know, just, just an insane number. Really wildly over the top. Um, for the amount of packs we've pulled, we've opened two gold cards, a rainbow rare, an alternate art, a full, at least one full art, um, and a ton of other GXs. At least, I've at least gotten another oh. rainbow rare. <laughs> Jeez, oh my god! If I got the rainbow rare rushes art, I, I just, I would just lose it, man. Or a, a, the one gold card I really want, triple acceleration energy. Oh my god. It would be just, just delicious. Um, we'll see. No, it's this has been an incredibly satisfying opening. It doesn't owe me much else at this point, you know. Um, I obviously I don't want the last half to just be all duds, but, um, but yeah. No, it was it was a really great time, and I, I I hope we get a chance to go again. It's tough. You have to win the lottery, you know. Of, well, who knows? They might not do it that way. They might, it's true, but the, we didn't win when it was just first come, first serve, and we're trying to load the... Yo, I got a full RT 10 EGX! Oh! Oh, that might be the pull of this this oh, video. Like, oh, it's so awesome. It's so cute. He's holding his tail. I know. Oh, it's such an awesome card. Oh, D Denny. When you play it from your hand on your bench, you di may discard your hand and draw six cards. It's a little different from Shame and EX. Um, some people might say, oh, it's worse because you have to discard, but oftentimes you just want to get rid of what's left in your hand, and this way you're guaranteed six cards, or the Shame and EX, another floor version. At you, least you'll have a plane. A play set. I think I've, I think I've had it, yeah, since the last one. I thought I got a couple in the first opening, maybe I just got one. I knew I had that one already. Um, can't complain. Cannot complain about hits of any kind. Oh, man. Never give up, Raichu! Never give up, babe. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. Michael Scott. <laughs> 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 um, but, yeah, it's... Shame and EX, like... If you are stuck with three cards in your hand, you're only gonna get three cards from Shame and EX. <laughs> Whereas, with the Denny, you're always gonna get six new cards. And that gives you way better odds of getting the card that, or cards that you want. If you're like, oh, I need this tool and this energy or, or what have you to make what you want to do work. And it's it always sucks when you're in a position where like, you you desperately need one or two cards to, to take out their tag team GX, and you're trying to get that last one or whatever, and you just can't quite pull it, or. You need to use, right now, for instance, Guzma is still legal, and you need to use Guzma, but you also need another energy or another item card, and you can't get it without spending a different supporter to shuffle your hand, and now you're, like, out that Guzma that you really wanted to use instead, so... Having D. Denny to be able to discard your hand and then draw a bunch more without wasting a supporter to do it is just super, super clutch. It makes it almost, in some ways, better than Lele GX anyway. Because you still can use your supporter. Um, some bunk packs in a row. Well, at least I'll, uh, I will have a spare Dedenny now to, to trade for probably... That's gotta be worth close to a Rush's Art. Like, those those cards are super, super coveted. d -dennies. They're a great draw card. And it's cute. And it's electric. Electric is best. More fire crystals. Just so many spare... So many cards in this set just made fire broken. It's just unbelievable. It's always been the thing, though. Cards come out, and they're usually kind of themed in a certain way. So... Like, usually fire cards. Oh, nice. Another Honchkrow GX. Cool, Different cool. Different art. Yep. 
That's the ri that's the default art, which I think I had this one already, but still pretty. Um, but no, the the uh, fire supporters, fire trainers, cards that help fire decks, fire support Pokemon tend to accelerate energy. Like that's what fire does. Um, yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, yes. Got my Reshiram and Charizard. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I like shook you so violently. <laughs> I was so excited. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beauty. Oh, it's awesome. It really is. It's such a cool card. I've always favored, um, uh, like, Reshiram is beautiful as a Pokemon, but for whatever reason, I've always more liked more, um, oh my god. Zekrom. Really love Zekrom, but that that art with those two together, like that is so cool. Alright, you can take a picture. So you can take a picture, y'all. Cool. <laughs> Alright, one more Reshiram and Charizard, right? This one, the Rainbow Rare? I'm not even that big of a Rainbow Rare fan, but because of like what oh, Rainbow yeah. Rare Reshi's art has come to mean, has it makes me want to have it, you know, but, um, I don't remember what I was talking about. I don't know. <laughs> Something about Joanna being cute and stuff. Oh, you were talking about the demo. Was I? Yeah. I thought I'd moved on from that. I mean, it is really useful, and I know I talked about how useful it would be, and also that I'll be able to trade a copy of it. So, and maybe I'll have to bundle something else with it to get the Resh another Reshizard, but I'm one step closer. Oh, I was talking about fire supporters. Fire supporters, fire support Pokemon, trainers, items, etc. They um, tend to be themed around accelerating energy, uh, often from the discard pile. Sometimes not, sometimes just from your deck. Um, fighting supporters if, and su supporter Pokemon are all about adding d additional damage. Put this on your bench and your fighting Pokemon do 20 additional damage or 10 additional damage per attack. You know, I'm talking about like DNC Prism Star, Reshi Rock, uh, Reggie Rock. Reshi Rock. <laughs> got got Reshi Rushes out of my head. Uh, Reggie Rock. I almost said it wrong again. Uh, EX. And then, you know, like um, fighting energy. That sort of strong energy, I mean, you know, that sort of thing. It's all about the adding damage, martial arts, dojo, etc. Um, so those things tend to be themed that way. Grass is usually healing. Um, sometimes fairy is healing too, but often fairy is um, moving energy around. And water tends to do that to an extent as well, moving energy around a lot. Um, so you kind of notice the themes that go along with with some of the types. And of course, one thing we, we know about fire is it's often focused on discarding energy to do damage. Uh, and, uh, I mean, Charizard's almost always Charizard's discard fire energy to do damage. I actually, speaking of jack decks that, like, crave energy, I... Oh, yes, a hollow reds challenge! That is the full art trainer I want. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Oh, you're so cool. Just, it's like a computer search, basically. You just search for a card by discarding two, any card. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, I was talking about the different types, and the different advantages, the different kind of support that they tend to get. And, um... Yo! Is that their alt? No, this is the regular art, isn't it? That's the regular art for them. Because the alternate art has texturing on it. That is cool. Well, that... it has some texture on it. Yeah, it's a different kind, though, on the alternate, I think. This could be. The, al the alternates tend to look like color pencil more than anything, which this kind of does. But I think this is the regular art. It's 120 out of, one, out of 214. I thought the alternate arts were all secret rare. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. If we get another one, we'll compare. <laughs> we seem to be getting everything in this opening. Um, just, but I was talking about the different kind of advantages to the different types. And um, what they tend to do. And um, 
I, I can't remember where I was going with it. Something with the lyrics, I don't know. And then, of course, Psychic tends to be the most likely to do status effects. I think there's, there's definitely some trickster stuff with Dark Type as well. But yeah. There's obviously exceptions. Kit. <laughs> oh boy. Another Persian. Hooray! Another one you can give me. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get some extras. Uh, I was gonna say something about. Um... Oh yeah. Okay. Now I remember what I was gonna talk about or what I was gonna say. I built that Gyarados deck where it accelerates energy to do damage. I could not make that work. And maybe it works better in Expanded, but I swear I ran into people who were rocking it in Standard and they were, it was doing work for them. And uh, man, I just took L after L after L, no matter how strategic I was. And there's not much strategy with that deck, right? It's just get your Gyarados out and then use its attack, which looks at the top seven cards of your deck and for every energy it does 30 damage and then you shuffle all the energy back in and discard the rest it's easy enough to set up it's super easy and i thought like it'd be that kind of deck where like how i used to use typhlosion back in the day that would do 50 per energy that you discarded and you discarded everything out of the deck my thought was oh i'll use it and it won't get a win every time but I'll at least get through matches really quickly because I was winning all the time with my Pikaram deck, but it was taking like 15 minutes a match at least. And I thought this way, even if I don't win more than a few in a row each time, like I'll win a couple, lose one, win a couple, lose one, and I'll just get through the ladder so much quicker. Typhlosion did that for me. Guzzlor was a great way to do that. Joanna does that mm -hmm. even to this day. Yeah. Man, though, no, it did not work. It did not work at all. I hit a brick wall. What eventually started to get me through the ladder was was just running Rayquaza GX in uh, in expanded. I mean, I was I was doing pretty well with Picaron in uh, in standard. I tried to use my Blacephalon deck too a bunch in standard, and uh, I like the deck. I feel like I feel like it sometimes limits itself in the amount of damage it can output, and it gets tricky with tag teams. I think it's a very divisive deck for that reason. Some people are like, this is the best deck. It did win Madison Regionals. It, it straight up did. But it's also, it's capped the amount of damage it can put out. Um, you got to hope that somewhere in the middle there you get your uh, Naganadels in, Naganadels, and do some damage with them because you have a limit of, what is it, what's in the deck? Eight energy times 50? No, it's more than eight. I thought it was nine. Anyway, it's like around four, four, five hundred damage that's limited. That's not two Reshizards, so <laughs> it just isn't. That's not going to get you the numbers, so yeah. So I don't know. I'm I'm still going to play around with it. And I I do like it. It's fun, but I think probably in standard, this and Picaram are going to be ooh Celestila, or uh. uh it's not a super useful card, but I just like getting hits. Those are going to be the decks I go to until Mew Mewtwo comes out. They really are. And then I'll play, you know, different things in Expanded, like probably Rayquaza. Lots of, lots of Rayquaza. I love it. When a Pokemon I love gets a good card, I have to play that deck. Like, I, Rayquaza is a Pokemon that I love. I know it's pronounced Rayquaza, but I'm always going to call it Rayquaza. Um, I, I have to play it, you know? And when Mew Mewtwo comes out, and it's a great one... I've got to play it. Ooh, that Porygon Z makes a good deck, too. That energy spinner. Looks like a fidget spinner. It's like a fidget spinner. It's supposed to be, yeah. Mm. I haven't ever looked at that. Oh, it's very situational. Mm. Yeah, but it's a terrible situational card. Like, the, the special bonus you get is not that great. Unless you had something like um, Welder that could attach right from your hand. You have to have both of those things, and if you don't, then it's, that's garbage. It's not worth anything to you. We are down to the last ten. No, and I, and I love 
Pikachu and Zekrom, that deck, because so many of my favorite Pokemon have a great spot in that deck. Um, Pikachu and Zekrom, uh, I love both of those Pokemon, especially even Zekrom, but I also really love Pikachu and its evolution. Um, the deck runs Zapdos, for God's sake, my favorite legendary and second favorite Pokemon. It runs... There's more Dugong. It runs, um... Uh, oh, Zero Aura, which has come to be, like, one of my favorite Pokemon from Sun and Moon of all of them. And Electric is just my favorite type, so seeing all of these beasts get their place there in one single deck and have, a, have an awesome position in that deck. And Tapu Koko, Prism Star. Oh, love Tapu Koko. Oh, my God. I can't wait to play Sun and Moon. I haven't gotten to yet, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I love electric types, and it's got two great ones, Tapu Koko and Zero Aura. Um, the point is, that deck has more of my favorite Pokemon than any deck I ever probably play. It will. So I hope it I hope it can still be effective post-rotation. I really do. If not, I'll be playing it in Expanded, so that's just how it's going to be. Oh, uh, man, I don't know if we're going to get much else here. We did have the luck. We had... Yeah. Even if we don't, like, I am so satisfied with this opening. I am really pleased. I'm so glad. It feels like the pull rates have... Yes! Yes, another Greninja and Zoroark. I also want to mess around with that deck. Probably an Expanded. Do some stuff with, um... Um, because it's doing extra damage for energy. And do some stuff with, um, Dark Ride GX. That goes in the discard and then revives with two Dark Energy. Run, uh, Dark Patches, etc. Max Potions. That would be a lot of fun. I'm gonna do that too. So that, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I bumped her in the head with my arm, with my forearm. I'm abusive. No. No. Uh -uh. Um. But uh. Yeah, there'll be definitely some some fun stuff I'm gonna want to do. But yeah, and I'll run I'll run peek around and, and expand it if all else fails. So. Spanded is always a good fallback. I feel like ELO, like, even as hard as its standard is right now, last pack, it never feels like Expanded is as hard. <laughs> and some people have said, oh man, Standard is so much more, e so much simpler and easier because it's more rigid. Dude, the people you play against in Standard are serious. Every last one of those people has designed their deck to do a specific thing, and if you haven't done the same thing, even if you have, there's, it's still not, you know, good odds for you, but Expanded? Expanded, you can go out there and get a win if you got your head on straight. Standard is harder to win it. You have to really work at it. And, uh, here we go. It's not even the same Butterfree. He's not even saying goodbye. Whew! Well, that was awesome. It was still just a friggin' great opening all the way around. Um, yeah, this is, I added some of those in the the video. Um, I got a ton of things that I... <laughs> bless you. I got a ton of great pulls. Two D, D Denny's, including one full art. Got the Reshi's art. Got a bazillion co uh, of Butterfree, or Venomoth GX. Yeah. Um, got a bunch of Persian GX, not that I need it, but I got some tra tag teams I wanted. Especially Zoroark and Greninja and uh, Gardevoir and Sylveon. It would have been nice to trade, like, one Lucario Melmetal for one of those two, because they're more viable for a deck, but I also got Buzzwell and Feramosa. I pretty much covered all of them, I think, from this set. I can't think of a tag team in the set that I didn't get. Magic that's, that's the That's the set before. I think I got all of the ones that are in this set. I could be wrong. If I remember it, I'll call myself out in the next video. But anyway... That's it for today. Um, I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And uh, we look forward to having you guys next time on another edition of Life, Life from, from Lavender, Lavender Town. Town. Bye! Bye.